get to see today a behind the scenes look at my office and how I have it organized so that I can do my job easily and efficiently. So one of the things that you're gonna notice in my office is that I have a door and that I can close my door. Now for me, this is really, really important because I have a family and my family, when they see that the door is closed, they know that I'm working with a student. And it also keeps the heat in my office because I like my office to be warm, but I don't always need to be heating up the rest of the house. So it's got two dual purposes there. You'll also notice that I like to just surround myself with really pretty things. You know, I've got this really nice little tree and I have a, um, up at the top here, you can see a nice little uh, bookshelf with some pretty items on it. I also have inside of my office this chair so that when my family comes to visit me when I'm down in my office, they have a nice comfy place to sit. Sometimes I'll even just sit and read with my own children in this chair. As soon as I'm done working with a student, they'll have their book ready to go because they want me to read with them, which is pretty awesome. Now I have my printer here and if you notice too, the walls are painted. Now when I first got my office organized, one of the first things I wanted to do was make this a space that I wanted to come to work in every single day. I didn't want it to be what it was before. The walls were white. It was um, just an office that we would just go to our computer at, and it wasn't a place that we spent a lot of time. But I knew I was gonna be spending a lot of time in this place, so I decided to paint my walls into colors that were gonna make me feel happy. And one of my favorite colors is maroon. So I've got my painted maroon walls. You'll also notice though that I have my my files right here. So there's really easy access for me. And it's easy access because my computer is right next to that file case. And so I have my files actually organized by student, by first name, alphabetical order. And I have them all organized so that I can easily take their folder, be opening it up. And I have wherever we left off right here in the folder and I'll show you an example that I have I have this students folder organized by all of their personal information how they ended up finding me what they need help with all of that the parents information is all just stapled right on the top here I also on the back um, on the very front as I'm working with a student if all of a sudden they say something like I have a brother or I have a sister. I ask them what the name of their brother or their sister is and I write it down. And I do that because I like to personalize my sessions. If I hear a dog in the background, I'll ask what the dog's name is, what kind of dog it is. And I write that information right on the top there so that you know I can, I can make one-on-one -on -one conversation with each of my students. Another thing that I do is I take their assessment and I put it on the back of the folder. And this assessment tells me exactly what I need to teach and gives me my roadmap for what I need to teach for each of my students. So I'm gonna put this right on back so that I know where to find it when I need it next. We're gonna keep moving around the office. You're gonna notice that I have my desk area set up. And I actually ended up purchasing this desk for um, $100 at a rummage sale. And I love it. It really does everything that I want it to be able to do because it stores my computer easily and effortlessly. And you'll notice that this comes right on out so that I can use the, uh, the typing right there, right at my fingertips, really super easy. You'll also notice I have different resources. Right on up here, I have resources that help me with reading. Like all of a sudden, if I need to do something with fluency, I usually know where I need to go in my book for that information, and I'll just be able to grab that real quick, flip to it, and I've got it. I also have the Reading Teacher's Book of Lists. I often am using this. So any books and tools that I get to use often, I want within my reach so that when I am doing my tutoring session, I don't have to think about where it is that I need to go to be able to get that. I also have, this is like my to-do pile right here, like these are the things that I'm going to be getting to today. There's some notes that I want to be able to organize, I just came back from a trip and um, I have a report that I need to write and I'm currently reading a book. So this is my, my to-do pile of things that I'm working on right now. 
And then here's some more resources that I also use. I keep an, um, I always keep like a candle inside of my office because it's important to me how my office smells. I am down in the basement, so sometimes it can have that dusty kind of smell that I don't really enjoy that so much, but I really enjoy being able to have a wood wick candle. They literally just have the most amazing smell that lasts all day long. So I'll light it maybe once a day or, or you know, every every week, you know, whatever works in my schedule whenever I feel like having that beautiful aroma inside of my office. You'll notice, as well as I keep showing you my office, that I have another computer set up. And honestly, having two computers for me is awesome. I can do something, I can do things really easily and simply when I have two computers. Uh, if any time Skype isn't working so well with one of my computers, or maybe I'm downloading something, then I could just go right on to my other computer. Now I have all of my folders on Dropbox, so it doesn't matter that I'm switching between computers because all of my resources are on Dropbox. You'll also notice in the background there that I have a water cooler. And the reason that I have that water cooler, I'll move this down so you can see it, is because I really enjoy tea. <laughs> So in between my sessions, um, real quick, if I want a cup of hot tea, all I have to do is pour my hot water and it is there for me to enjoy. I don't have to go upstairs, I don't have to make it. So that's something that really makes my office really functional for me. And then one of my favorite things that I have, this is my backdrop. So I'm gonna show you really quick what my backdrop looks like. My backdrop includes my bookcase. Now, I love to have books at my fingertips, but I really want to be sure when students come to see me that they have something nice to look at. Honestly, I've seen people who do the tutoring online, and, and I've, I've even gotten to Skype with them myself and, and see what their offices look like. And some of them, you can see that there's boxes and boxes of junk behind them. And, you know, that honestly doesn't create a very warm and open environment for our families who are working with us. And so by me having this in the backdrop, it's not really something that I have to take care of or utilize, but it goes with what I teach. And it also has, you'll notice, three of my books there, 31 Days to Become a Better Reader, The Three Little Sisters Learn to Get Along, the How to Raise Nonfiction Reading Levels, and then the award that I won for being a number one top Amazon seller for 31 days uh, to become a better reader. My kids like to see that I'm a successful person. They like to see those kinds of accomplishments and things very easily, and they enjoy talking about the things that are on my bookshelf. It's funny because if I move something on my bookshelf, they notice and they'll be like, hey, why did you move that? So they really do pay attention to that. And then the last little thing that I have in my office that makes it very functional is I have a painter's light. And when I do my videos, this painter's light actually comes in handy because it brightens up the room a little bit more so that people can see what it is that I am, um, what I'm trying to get across to them. So that's a back look at my office. I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day.